Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to the channel of Children Lives Playing Content. Where we talk about our plants and we try to learn the best way to grow them so they grow how they want, how they want, how we want them to grow. <laughs> so if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button. Let's be plant friends. So today I have two Hoyas that are struggling. I originally have them hanging in my sunroom, and I bought them. When I bought them, to be fair, they were not in great condition, but <clears throat> but I wanted them, so I bought them. And usually I'll just like kind of like ignore a plant for a while and it'll like bounce back, it'll get itself together. But these two plants, every time I water them, I can bring this table over here. Oh. We get some yellowing leaves. This is Mahoya Lacinosa. I bought this in New York at uh, Father Nature's. But yeah, as you can see, every time I water it, something turns yellow. Some leaves always have to fall off. And that usually, in my experience, means that the root system is really small and it's like getting overwatered. Even though I don't really water these plants, I give them like a little sip because I know that the root system isn't that great. But what I want to do today is just check the root systems and probably take some cuttings because, like, as you can see, this whole this whole stem right here is like shriveled up and dead. So I want to check out the roots, take some cuttings, and kind of like restart this plant. And uh, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully the plant doesn't completely die. The other plant is also a lacunosa, and it's the snow caps. And I got this from Lowe's. And as you can see, it's just, it was more full. I, when I bought it, I knew it was overwatered, and so I kind of just put it somewhere warm and let it like dry out. And this is what survived from, from that. And again, I also want to check the roots on this guy and take some cuttings and kind of see if I can save this one. This plant I'm not that worried about. Um, if I found it in Lowe's once, I'll find it in Lowe's again. Um, the other Lacunosa, though, is more of a, like, a local nursery find. So, one, it's always a little bit more expensive, and two, it's more, it's less common to be found again. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Um, the first one, this Lacunosa is kind of more in, like, a barky mix. I'm not sure if you can see that. But, yeah, it's in, like, a barky mix. This guy is just in, like, the regular soil type of mix that most Costa Farm plants are in. So we're going to flip you around so you can see what I'm doing. I have my scissors. I have my alcohol spray. And we're going to see if we can save these plants. So, alrighty. All right, so let me, I guess we will start with this guy um, because I think this guy's a little more, a little more rough and uh, hurting a little bit more than the other one. So let us see. Okay, so off the bat, you can see some roots which is good. They do look a little dry, which isn't great. And the whole, this whole thing, oh my god, that's a lot. Yeah, so you see it's very dry. And there's no roots like in the middle of it actually, so let's just start taking it apart, shall we? So there's no plant in that. Let's see, we have one stem in here. One stem that's still green and one stem that's dried up and dead. So let's see if there's any roots even. I have a feeling there's very little roots slash no roots. And yeah, as you can see, it's all like pretty much dried up and no good. So, but we are gonna try to propagate this leaf, this stem. So we'll do that. The leaves are just falling off. Let's see this guy. Again, there's two, this guy. They're both, there's still some green to them. This guy's dried up all the way down here. I don't expect to see any roots. But mm, no, this whole thing. The stem is still okay, so maybe we'll just take some stem cuttings. And I have, I think I have a little bit of sphagnum moss for my trade with Lily. So maybe I'll just put put them in there. Let me just cut it, and then we'll see if it wants to grow back. So there's a bend here. So that's we'll try that. This guy still looks pretty good, and it looks like he still has some roots right here. So let's try to separate that without killing it. All right, so this guy got some roots. We're gonna just stick this guy back in water. And we'll see. This guy also has a little bit of dried up roots. We're gonna have to just probably re root this entire plant. I think we got a root right there. We got two roots on this guy that's actually okay. So, let's see, make sure we're not forgetting anybody. This guy's dead. You can try the stem. 
I really don't have a lot of success in like stem, propagating stem cuttings, but I have a little bit of sphagnum moss, so I guess we'll try it. Worst case scenario is it doesn't work. <laughs> But at this point, it doesn't really matter. And then this is probably the healthiest piece um, left of this plant. And it looks like there's some roots to it. I'm just going to try to break up the roots. I think I am going to have to repot most of my large hanging hoyas, which is like, uh, that's, that's very overwhelming. But I also don't have like bigger pots to put them in. And yeah, but we have some roots here. They're a little dry. But hopefully we can rehydrate them. All right, so we have that. Next, let us unpot this guy. This guy might also have had me like bugs, so maybe that is an issue. But as you see, there was some roots at the bottom, but this is all like bark mix, which isn't great for my my plants. Uh, my planting, my plant parenting, because it kind of just dries out too fast. All right, so we have some separation already. Okay, so we got this. This is a lot. Of, this is decent roots. A lot of it is dried. Probably gonna have to re-root this guy too. But we can see some of them is not dried. Like these thicker roots have survived, and it's just like the secondary smaller roots that are struggling a little bit. Also, while we're here, gonna pull off all the yellowing leaves. But this is a decent size plant, like little cutting. I'm gonna cut this guy up though, so that when I'm rebooting it, it's a little easier for the plant to to develop roots. Because sometimes you have to um, like make the ratio of roots to slash the size of the plant a little more even, so that the roots can support the plant as it's trying to grow. I got a little piece right here with some very dried out roots. Got another one. This guy's a lot easier to separate. Yeah, this is all pretty dry. Some of them have, still have some color to them. Let me on this. And like, they're okay still. But, yeah. So, I am notorious for struggling with Lacunosa plants. Um, yeah, I don't know. The Cromana, though, that one, like, grows like nobody's business. That is a very resilient plant for me. So, I would like to know in the comments below, if you guys also struggle with the lacunosa varieties and what do you do to keep them to keep them happy because I'm telling you it's not easy is it just because they started out crappy and they're just gonna be crappy for a little bit I don't know oh, we had two pieces here we had some mealybugs or some old mealybugs I did spray them last night so this is just like mealybug carcass but we'll re spray it and try to get it all cleaned up. And then the last piece is right here. This has a bunch of dried out roots. Okay. But this guy looks pretty okay. Again, it's like a really large piece. So, all right, there's that. Let's now cut up this piece of the plant. We're bouncing back to the other lacunos, the snow caps. And we're just gonna cut her up a little bit, I think. I think, should I even leave these on? You know what, I'll leave them on and if it rots off, it rots off, like the older, the older uh, roots. So what I like to do is I like to find a, a spot where there's only like one leaf or like no leaves and just cut right there and then I'll rip off that bottom leaf and then I have a node that I can stick into water. And I think what I'm gonna do is make I don't know. See, this guy has some aerial roots up here, so I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but I think I'm going to cut it like this. I'm going to stick it in like that. I think that's, this is the game plan. So yeah, one piece. I'm going to let them dry out a little bit. Two piece. We have this larger three piece. Um, cut off this bottom leaf cut off both of these bottom leaves actually there's some aerial roots right here right here down there so I think we're gonna just sacrifice this leaf and stick this whole thing in and hopefully that's enough to get the plant rooted and happy we have this guy like right here we have a leafless node why don't you focus thanks <laughs> 
we have a leafless node right here, so I'm going to cut right below that. And then this will go into water. And then this guy will try to reroot. I'm hope hopefully I'm not killing this plant. This guy's got a lot of um, nodes. So we're just going to cut them basically in half because sometimes the nodes will reactivate and start pushing out growth. So we'll just do it like that and see what happens. This guy, we got like some dead leaves on this one still. Again, we're just going to cut probably, I don't know, I'll leave that leaf on. I don't think it'll survive, but we'll leave it. We'll cut right there. This guy's got two nodes to try to get some. We'll cut off this dead little dried up tendril. Get some roots and we will, I guess we'll just cut right here. We'll see if this guy wants to grow. And we have a couple of nodes on that guy as well. All right, this guy's got a bunch of nodes basically and two crappy leaves we're getting rid of. Um, I guess we'll do three nodes in the water. And then we have this guy. I think I'll just leave him just like this and see what happens. Because he's got one leaf, a bunch of nodes. Um, this guy actually branched out. So actually this bottom piece dried out. I'll show you that. Ooh, 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 where are you? He dried out really bad. So I'm going to cut up to there. And we'll see if that node uh, can produce anything. If not, we have this node up here. And I'll kind of push it down so that this little node is also in the water. And then we got these stems. I don't know. I, maybe I'll just stick them in water, see what happens. It's, we'll just, we'll experiment, right? It's all right, it's fine. All right, so we got these guys. Let those dry off a little bit, callus over. And now we have the other lacunosa to deal with. <sighs> okay, let me angle you nicer. So maybe I should have just grabbed one piece at a time. Well then. Alright, so we have this piece, which is a large piece, and I'm afraid that this little root system is not going to be enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this off right here. Oh, it was thick. And then I'm going to cut this off right here. So now we have this piece with two nodes at the bottom. And then we have this piece with a bunch of two, also two nodes at the bottom. And uh, then the original piece, wherever that one went. I think it's this guy. We still gotta cut up a little bit more. Let's cut this guy off right here. I'm basically just cutting off all of the branches that that vine had and making them their own little cutting, um, just because I think it will help the plant grow and root. That guy. We have this guy. I guess I'll just leave him like this. I think I'm gonna cut a lot of like the secondary roots off though and let the plant kind of regrow from the, the main roots. We'll see. Okay, what is next? It's funny because I think I had less actual plants from this, from uh, this type of lacunosa, but they were just more robust. So this guy we're gonna try, we're just gonna put this whole stick in, we're gonna leave him just like that. We have this guy who's got sticks and then just some leaves here. I actually might leave this guy like this as well and just see if these nodes reactivate. Maybe I'll put it into water up to here and see what happens. Alright, almost done, almost through. So this is another little piece. Um, I'm going to cut this guy right here. So we have two pieces right there. And then we have this longer piece, which is all shriveled up. The leaves are anyway, but the stem still feels good. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it like this and stick it all the way into water and see if the stem wants to rehydrate or not. And the last one to cut is this big boy right here. It's huge. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to just kind of like try to pull off any of the dead roots at the bottom. Um, we're going to cut this little branch off. See if we can get this little guy to grow. I think that'd be cute. And go through, just cut off all of the branches. 
So this branch is kind of long and we have two spots where there are no leaves. So we're going to cut that clearly right there and right there. And as you can see, I don't know if you can actually see, but right here, there's a whole bunch of like that milky sap, which I guess the mealybugs love, but it can like irritate your skin. So wash your hands after cutting up your Hoyas. All right. And then we got this big stem, which is a lot of nodes, a little bit up here. So I'm going to put three nodes, I think, in the water and kind of leave it like this. And then we're going to just stick this guy in there and see what happens. Why not? Um, let's see. Let's cut. Let's cut here. And we're going to keep this as a cutting. I think this is a nice piece. I think it'll root up well. There's still aerial root right here. If I can get closer if it wants to focus. If it wants to focus. There we go. So there's a good aerial root there. I think that'll convert to water root. Easy. And then we have this guy. So I think what I'm going to do is cut this guy um, right here. And then we're going to stick it into water up to here. And then this guy we're going to stick up to water up to this node right here too. All right, so we got, we're going to sacrifice that leaf. We have a bunch of cuttings now. Let me, how do I re-angle this for you? Here you go. It's, this is my rolling table. I love this table. All right, so we have a bunch of cuttings. We have the regular lacunosa. I don't really know the, the variety of this lacunosa. And then we have some snow caps right here. So we're going to leave them, let them callus over. After they callus over, I'm going to spray them down with alcohol, rinse them off with water, and then I'm going to put them in water. And uh, yeah, I will come back and show you what they look like in their little water vessels when uh, they're ready for that. All righty, guys. All right, guys, so I have them all in their water propagations. I'm not confident in the Lacunosa snowcaps surviving. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just a thinner leaf uh, Hoya. If you guys know or have any tips or tricks on this plant, let me know. And if you know what this plant is, like what type of Lacunosa it is, please let me know in the comments below. Greatly appreciated. Um, this guy I think is going to do fine. The stems and leaves still feel firm. Like I said with the snow caps, it's a little like flimsy, but maybe that's the way that Hoya is. I don't really know. But this is what we got going on. I'll give you some updates when I have some. Either they survive or they don't, or they root. And uh, yeah, until next time, relax, plant. Peace out.